Tropical Storm Fiona has formed and it's either going to be a dangerous situation or nothing special at all depending on where she decides to move. And thousands of miles away in the Pacific Ocean, there's a storm so big that it will have a direct effect on which way Fiona ends up going, ultimately deciding whether or not we see a scary hurricane or a bright sunny day. I know it sounds crazy, but in this video, I'm going to explain everything to you and I'm also going to tell you about all the other big changes that are going to come about thanks to this giant storm in the Pacific. This was Typhoon Murbach just the other day, seemingly a normal but scary storm out in the Pacific Ocean. Skip ahead to right now and it's literally blowing up like a bomb into a giant extra tropical cyclone three times the size of Texas. And I'm not embellishing when I say it's like a bomb either. This is a real phenomenon in meteorology called bombogenesis. The state of Alaska is in the direct path of this thing and they should expect to see hurricane force winds and waves in excess of 50 feet throughout the day today and into tonight. But it's not just Alaska that needs to worry about this thing. This storm is so big, it's quite literally bending the jet stream, and it's gonna dump a bunch of Pacific rain onto California. Notice how this feature is nearly stationary as it flows like a river over the state. That's why meteorologists refer to this wild phenomenon as an atmospheric river. This is a super rare kind of storm in September for California, but it's gonna bring copious amounts of much needed rain to some very parched areas. All this rain and cooler temperatures could actually help relieve some wildfire problems, including potentially extinguishing the mosquito fire, which has been tearing through the Sierra foothills and now has been named the largest wildfire in the state this year. Some computer models are hinting at two to four inches of rain, and while it's still too early to pin down who will see how much and where, it's going to be very welcomed news to the state. There's even a potential for some snowfall in the higher elevations in California, so you know what that means. It might be snow town, baby. But ultimately, this big giant storm that's bending the jet stream and sending all this moisture into California is going to result in a heat wave through a lot of the central U.S. I mean, just look at these temperature anomalies as we go into the future. Here we are as we go into Monday and look at that big bubbling heat wave there right in the central portion of the U.S. If you're in Kansas here, you can see temperatures 30 degrees above normal during this time period, and you're going to feel the impacts of this from New Mexico all the way up into New York, Vermont, and New Hampshire. This bubbling heat in conjunction with cooler air coming from Canada could lead to several rounds of severe weather too. Check it out. The Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk of severe weather today, a marginal risk for tomorrow, and actually a day three slight risk on the border of Iowa and Illinois. And this is kind of rare. And remember, it's all happening in conjunction with that giant storm in the Pacific, which is sending waves and ripple effects down into our neck of the woods. Here on the instantaneous flash rate, you can see that it's going to bring tons of storms, several rounds to the upper Midwest. And a lot of these are going to be severe. And I think we're especially worried about that day three risk, potentially seeing some straight line damaging winds and maybe even some late season tornadoes. It's too early to say anything definitive just yet, but just looking at the convective available potential energy here, these numbers are impressive for this time of year, and we might see some big thunder boomers. These are the kinds of storms that aren't usually big threats, but you want to keep an eye on them just in case. Kind of like hackers and people who are trying to spy on your internet activity. And that leads me to today's sponsor, CyberGhost VPN, the best way to protect yourself on the internet. Y'all, as scary as mother nature can be, the outside world isn't the only place place that can be dangerous. Data breaches and malware infections are all too common nowadays, and that's why everybody in 2022 should be investing in a VPN, no matter who you are or what you do. Once activated, CyberGhost VPN transmits your data through a secure encrypted tunnel, giving you high-level online protection and military-grade security, so no one will ever know about your online activity. It's one of the most reliable VPNs on the market, compatible with Windows, Mac, OS, Linux, Android, iOS, smart TVs, gaming consoles, consoles, and tons of other platforms. And thanks to CyberGhost VPN, you can also access geo-restricted content. So basically, if something's blocked in your country, just switch the country that you're in on the VPN. It's that simple. And for my viewers only, you beautiful people watching this right now, CyberGhost VPN is going to give you 83% off your new subscription. That's right. As long as you use the link in the description, it's at the top of the description down there, you're going to get 83% off. So get to clicking that link and enjoy the discount that CyberGhost VPN has set up for the y'all squad and enjoy your newfound internet security. Now, let's get back into the video. 
here's the latest on tropical storm fiona winds are currently at 50 miles an hour and it's got a central low pressure of 1005 millibars but as fiona gets closer to puerto rico it's still expected to carry wind speeds around 65 miles an hour with gusts up to 75 and as it gets closer to haiti we're going to see winds up there near 70 miles an hour uh, pretty much almost a hurricane and gusts up to 85 miles an hour and then of course by september 20th when it gets past the island it's going to weaken a little bit but once it gets back into open waters it likely is going to strengthen very fast here's a look at the latest spaghetti plots this shows us all the different possibilities of where this thing could go according to the current models everything is shifting just a little bit further west so with all that being said how in the world does this big storm in the pacific and the bend in the jet stream affect tropical storm fiona at all isn't that the point of this video well it is but let me explain the concept the atmosphere is a fluid just think of how much water vapor is in the air and how it flows like water just on a larger planetary scale a very good example of this is the atmospheric river we already talked about if you drop a rock in a pool of water there's ripples that come out right the atmosphere above your head behaves in a similar way the jet stream is our pool of water and typhoon murbach now becoming an extra tropical cyclone is our rock this rock is going to slam into the jet stream literally almost breaking it near alaska and as a result waves are going to ripple away from the impact zone which will impact tropical storm fiona since this collision technically hasn't happened yet forecast models are clueless as to how the troughs and ridges resulting from this are going to impact tropical storm fiona that's why they're all over the place right now how these waves play out will have a big say in where fiona will go and how strong it'll be if a trough from murbach were to come off into the eastern u.s the strong counterclockwise flow from it would yank fiona northward and cause it to curve away from the u.s so that's what we're seeing here we got a big trough and here's our ridge this is tropical storm fiona it's going to get magnetized and locked into this and flung out to sea if murbach sends that big of a wave down now on the contrary if the wave is a little bit more suppressed and that ridge takes over we're going to see tropical storm fiona possibly head more west and this actually increases the possibility of interaction with the u.s as you can see here through the canadian model but also the path fiona takes is greatly dependent on her strength at the moment fiona is interacting with wind shear which is acting to decouple its circulation at different height levels keeping fiona from strengthening and causing it to slow down a bit and move more westward this could allow it to miss the interaction with any trough and consequently move into the u.s now despite what the jet stream does or anything if this storm does start coming towards the u.s we still have no idea exactly where it could impact it could move further west into the gulf states it could impact florida or it could move more north and impact the east coast again we're just gonna have to wait until typhoon murabach hits that jet stream and causes those ripples so we can see what's going to happen from there i'm personally in the camp that this thing's probably going to slow down and head a little bit further west potentially impacting the u.s likely around florida maybe even up on the east coast somewhere or it's going to go out to sea the odds of this going into the gulf of mexico at this point are really low but how cool is this man did you know that a seemingly normal storm in the pacific ocean could have a direct effect on a hurricane halfway across the globe that is why i love weather super huge shout out to all of our members over here thank you guys so much for being a huge part of the channel hey i've been going on a bunch of podcasts here recently i just did the stormfront freaks podcast that's going to be available publicly next week sometime on their youtube channel and then on monday i'm going to be live on weather brains with the infamous jane span and we're going to talk about weather and thumbnails and youtube and all kinds of fun stuff so make sure you tune into those if you want to hear some behind the scenes some in-depth stuff about the ryan hall y'all operation it should be really fun and i'm super excited about it otherwise i'll see you in the next one goodbye Ooh. guys make sure you support the companies that support me and click on the link in the description to get cyber ghost vpn you're going to get a super special discount that only ryan hall y'all viewers are going to get and you're going to protect your data while you browse you can get full access to all blocked content on the internet for just 223 a month it's risk-free and it supports me why not guys click that link in the description and we'll see you in the next one